All right, hi everyone. Um, my name's uh, Tyler Klutz and I'm in the uh, MPA uh, 503 um, class um, at this moment. Um, I know that I have to fall under the guidelines of um, the uh, for hearing impaired. Um, so I will have um, a transcript of kind of what I'm talking about um, as well as I have a program where I can put this in if needed for, um, uh, for showing up the caption um, from what I'm speaking on as well as I have a degree in uh, sign language, so um, I can also uh, uh, do that as well um, if needed. Um, so basically, um, in this podcast, I've done a few podcasts actually, um, so I kind of enjoyed doing these. Um, this one's kind of uh, exciting and more in depth for me. Um, basically, we're talking about um, you know where we live at and um, our city's government and what um, kind of like how the structure and thing, you know, everything is. So, um, the overall structure, um, of my county government, um, is a concept of a commission system. So under this structure an elected, uh, commission, uh, which generally consists of small numbers of commissioners serve as a governing body, um, within the county performing all legislative and, um, executive function. And that was, um, cited by, uh, uh, Bulker in uh, 2011 um, on page 220. Um, so basically, um, I, I live um, in the county um, where I'm currently uh, residing. So uh, basically what this means um, is um, with these like elected officials, um, they work on implementing a budget um, through basically and also passing um, policies and hiring and firing uh, city officials. Um, the city administrator system is done by the voters who elect council members who serve for a specified period of time and the council in turn appoints an administrator to oversee the operation of the government. Um, so kind of who I'm going to focus on today um, is the um, Kern County Sheriff's Department um, and the elected uh, sheriff um, that is currently um, was voted in by the um, by the people of Kern County for his fourth election, I believe. So he's been doing this for about 12 years now. Um, so I currently live in Bakersfield, California, and I live within the county limits of Bakersfield. Um, the local government, like I said, that I basically want to focus on is the Kern County Sheriff's Department because there's a lot of crisis right now with regards to um, the budget. Um, and this has been an issue for years now. Um, so the county... Um, like I said, had voted, um, just recently had voted our sheriff into, I believe, a fourth or fifth election. I can't remember offhand, but he's been in for 12 years. Um, Kern County has basically, the sheriff's department has basically been giving public service since the uh, early 1900s. Um, and as of uh, a pretty recent um, census, it showed that roughly about 882, 200,000 citizens that Kern County serve. So um, let me reiterate that again. Uh, 882,200 uh, sub, um, citizens of Kern um, is served under the um, Kern County Sheriff's Department. So I have, Kern County as a whole has multiple cities. Um, so Bakersfield is the main city and then we have outer lining areas such as Taft, Lamont, um, Fraser Park, um, Arvin, Delano, those are all um, kind of like sub cities of Bakersfield basically. Um, in this sheriff's department right now um, and in Bakersfield and Kern County alone we have the highest murder rate in California um, and we have the most police shootings across the United States at this um, very time. Um, so one of the biggest focuses for the Kern County Sheriff's Department is to serve the citizens and get a, a budget approved. Um, but it hasn't happened in a long time. Um, so um, basically the one thing I wanted to identify um, is if we're like an open or closed model, um, it's a very definitely a closed model. Um, so basically um, a closed model um, organization is one that does not receive contribution and is remote from its organization. Um, and that was stated by um, um, Stillwell um, in 2017, page uh, 143. Um, in a peer review. Um, basically like a few important characteristics of a closed model um, 
our normal procedures transpire in a stable state and disagreements inside the uh, company is arbitrated by the top. So um, with this, there's not very many individuals um, that have a lot of say so in the sheriff's department. You have the sheriff who's the elect official and he has like five other people on his team that consist of like the under sheriff um, and chiefs. So there's not very many people that get have very much say so on policy, you know, policy and budget making. Um, so they kind of do like the vigilant decision making amongst their group, which is basically, um, it, it consists uh, of an organization recruiting ways to motivate the team to participate more efficient in making proper decisions and to eliminate uh, group uh, group think from the organization. And that was um, cited by Lovekin in 2010, uh, page uh, 506. So I want to speak on a little bit what I was talking about with regards to the current budget crisis. Um, so for years now, we've been in a really bad budget crisis where um, our deputies are the lowest paid in the state. I used to work in law enforcement. I got out for that reason, one of those reasons. Um, you constantly have um, um, police officers working overtime constantly. Um, so over the past basically 12 years, the sheriff has been trying to get a really stable budget and he's been working with the state officials and federal officials to meet all the guidelines and things for funding and stuff like that. But um, we're still struggling really bad. Um, every year we come up short in our budget. There's always um, budget cuts um, regarding like substations with regards to like um, substations that have jails in the outer lining areas. Those have been shut down. So deputies have to leave their posts um, from, you know, where they could be in Ridgecrest and that's almost two hours to Bakersfield. So it just goes to show you how big Kern County is and how many people we serve um, as a whole. Um, so basically um, the, sh the sheriff, he holds a lot of power um, in this organization and um, you know he was elected by the people again like I said he's been doing this for about 12 years um, and I like I had mentioned before he has about a team of five individuals um, um, regarding or you know with regards to being the under sheriff and then there's chiefs involved um, he is very the sheriff is highly respected among Republicans but not so much with Democrats um, so one weakness I could say with regarding our um, current sheriff and trying to get things implemented um, into policy, definitely regarding our um, our budget, um, he's not very um, politically uh, influential um, with the um, budgets he's presented over the years. So um, he lacks in that area, but he makes up for in a lot of different areas where he's passed tons of policies to make you know Bakersfield a safer place to live. Um, so basically that kind of uh, wraps up my um, my podcast and I will uh, submit this for review and um, my transcript as well. Thank you. Have a good day.